The VR courtroom really does engage at different levels. So not only in terms of year one of our studies, but through to year four. And in that, there are different types of scenarios and different types of areas of law that's being organized uh, or presented. So it goes from delict delictual law to contractual law, uh, civil procedure, and even family law. So there's quite a wide range of application and that gets tested within the game. So obviously it's foundational on a civil procedure element, but then the substantive areas of the law gets played out in the game. So quite a wide application. You know, it is quite a long road from February 2023 where we started this vision of the VR courtroom, specifically in relation to what Prof J has uh, presented at the faculty. And from there, it was really a brainstorming exercise to, to get to this point. Um, like I've said, it's taken about 16 months to get from here, from there to here. It's about 10 months in development uh, on concepts and about six months in technical development. And really where this benefit is going to come from in terms of the use of VR courtroom is creating these authentic uh, learning experiences for our students that doesn't, isn't just a game, but it's a, a, a simulation of real life. Uh, so that's really where we, we're envisaging the, the benefit of, of this type of program. The VR courtroom itself, the design of the 3D environment is what we were busy, we've been busy with. However, the law faculty experts are the ones that guide us on the content and also the dynamics of the courtroom. As you might have guessed, we're not experts in law. So the idea, but we're experts in creating AI applications, 3D applications, games. So it's a collaboration with our experts in law that ensures that uh, the, the content is, is accurate and precise. Uh, it's been overwhelming, especially from colleagues in law, because they've actually played with it and they have validated that this thing is fantastic for learning, because they are the experts that teach on the ground. Also for the law students that are experiencing it as we speak, I've moved in and I've spoken to quite a number of them. They found it exciting, they found it as a, a better way to teach. They have thought they could learn a lot from it as opposed to the traditional way of pen and paper and learning in books. Okay, so personally I find the game like, quite exciting because like brings way too many opportunities to other students, to the legal world and it has like potential, potential for many things to be educative, even as a business idea because like I'm a business minded person, it, like has a lot of potential. That's how I see it. And it's, it looks quite fun as they said it.